<laughs> okay, so the story for today is um, I might be getting upset at my partner for leaving our two year old daughter unattended for only a few minutes. My 32M partner, 31F, left our two year old daughter alone for a few minutes. Granted, I was with her for the time being, my daughter has proven to have some sort of separation anxiety. Once my wife had left, my daughter started crying like crazy. She was throwing a tantrum and she wouldn't stop even after I picked her up and tried consoling her. After around 10 minutes, my wife walks back in with a new fresh set of clothes on and tells me that her mom needs something, so she's going to go out for a bit. She's done this several times before and I don't want to blame her, but I'm not sure how else to calm my daughter down. She's irrational when her mother isn't around. And I want to help, but my daughter really only likes my wife. I've tried talking about this issue with her, and I don't want my daughter to depend too much on my wife, but my wife just brushes it off whenever I try to bring it up. Last night was my final straw when I finally told her to stop brushing it off and help me figure out what it is that makes my daughter so irrational. She told me to stop worrying about it and then I'm being dramatic, and eventually my daughter will grow out of it. I called her careless and maybe said some things that I shouldn't have said. She took our daughter and stormed off, and now she's staying with her mom and won't respond to my messages. I didn't really mean to hurt her feelings, I just wanted her to understand my side of the story. I feel like I can't connect with my daughter the way my wife does, and yet my wife doesn't really try to help me strengthen the connection I have with my daughter, or teach our daughter to be at least a little less dependent on her mom's presence, even when I'm there. So, am I the Also, where does this attachment even come from? I feel like that's a lot only for like a dad to take in because yeah. if they're new parents and they're at a later age, they've already set their lives mm -hmm. up and he wants to be a part of that life, part of her life. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. And the mom's really not doing anything for it. I think if anything, he should have just said it sooner. I think that's the reason why I got so out of hand, you know? And but she's then... only two years old. Yeah, that's that's true. But I think like okay, so so there's this thing in psychology, right? There's a psychologist. Um, I think her like name is like Mary Ainsworth. Mm -hmm. She has like these like four different stages of like uh, attachments, and this reminds me a lot of like attachment type C, and it's pretty much where like anxiety and like uncertainty is like really apparent in the infant when one of the caregivers leaves, um, and I feel like maybe it's something that you know, the couple can probably look into to maybe work on with their daughter just because um, she seems to be like distraught after her mom leaves, you know? Okay, well, what's type C? I feel like type C is like, um, for example, like, say I leave and then like, I'm Reese's caregiver, right? And then Reese gets like super upset and he's like, not even like into anything. Like you can try to calm him, calm him down, but he's not really calm, you know? And like I come back and he's like, oh. cool, I know. it's kind of like that. It's like insecure resistant or ambivalent mm. and kind of like, like separation anxiety, you know? Okay. Isn't that kind of similar to type A though too? Because I feel like the only difference between type C and type A is just that like the infant doesn't care she doesn't yeah. care she doesn't uh -huh. care that her dad's there her maybe the dad hasn't been there long enough and been around and so that's why when she's there in those moments with the dad that ends up happening mm -hmm. is why like he feels so left out because that's yeah. just what type a is it's not caring for that character yeah okay no i, I see what you mean it's like maybe like type C with the mom and maybe type A with the dad. Probably no, more mm. like I think, the I, think child. With, I think with I think with the mom, it might be type B, honestly, because well, what is what's type B then? Well, type B describes more of an actual relationship mm -hmm. where the child actually feels better and more comfortable when that caregiver is around. So let's say. The mom walked into a room and then the child would be like, oh my gosh, 
you're back. Or, you know, depending on their speech level, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, just visibly more excited when the caregiver is there. And it seems like they have much more closeness. I feel like with a dad, it's more of type D, uh, more of a disorganized attachment. Yeah. Um, basically, it's not necessarily a coldness towards the caregiver mm -hmm. it's more inconsistent right mm -hmm. so one time maybe she's really excited to see the dad and the dad goes to pick her up and she's like dad, 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 you know like mm -hmm. actively welcoming him in yeah or another time she just hmm, you know doesn't want to doesn't want to be seen with them so the dad asks am i the i don't think you are i i don't i i would say no i feel like i feel like neither of them is the I feel like there just isn't a clear understanding because yeah. she doesn't see it herself. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely So I wouldn't say he's like or being upset about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I think I think he has every right to be. It's just they just need to communicate is all. And the final mm -hmm. question our Redditor asks is where does this attachment even come from? I'd say confidently, probably Mary Ainsworth's theory of infant attachment, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely like, gonna want to look into that. It literally gives like the four different perspectives on it and how like to deal with each one if you know what type they're gonna be doing. Yeah, yeah. it's just about knowing what to look for, I yeah. think. So.